uh, in this video we will talk about chapter 1 of research methods uh, the chapter 1 is introduction to research uh, in this chapter uh, we will overview the uh, the concepts the basics of research uh, first of all uh, we will go for definition uh, the definition for uh, business research is or first we can define simple research uh, it is the process of finding solutions to a problem after a thorough study and analysis of the situational factors uh, this is the definition written in this book uh, that means that uh, it is a process by which we find solution through study and analysis uh, then we have business uh, research and uh, the book the book defined it as an organized systematic data based critical objective inquiry or investigation into a specific problem undertaken with the purpose of finding answers or solutions to it uh, then we have uh, primary data and secondary data primary data is a first hand data uh, that we collect through an interview questionnaire uh, or any other method like survey any first-hand data uh, we uh, collect to execute our research is called primary data uh, and secondary data is the second-hand data that is already available uh, we can uh, name the sources as uh, uh, it is from web uh, online forums uh, companies balance sheets uh, etc so these two type of data are mentioned in this uh, chapter uh, after that we have quantitative research and qualitative research quantitative research uh, deals with numeric data and qualitative research deals with um, uh, attributes like uh, emotions human behavior characteristics and so uh, research that doesn't involve numeric data is called qualitative research and uh, there are two type of questions uh, open-ended questions and uh, close-ended question open-ended questions are asked uh, which are not barred by an, any condition or limit uh, and close-ended question are uh, uh, MCQs type questions which are barred or which has a limit uh, attached to it so there there are two type of questions which are asked in uh, questionnaire interview or survey so then in this chapter we have the role of theory and information in research uh, theory and information is very important in research because we got without theoretical base uh, the research is not appropriate uh, and it has no meaning uh, it has to uh, be uh, under some umbrella of theory uh, or it it should be attached to theory in a way that it can uh, generate new theory so uh, in a one way or the other uh, the theory is always involved in that research uh, second information uh, information is required to process uh, our hypothesis uh, our uh, uh, our research design and uh, to conclude things uh, information is also very crucial and it's important for uh, accurate and uh, valid research uh, then we have a topic of uh, research and the manager uh, for managers research is very important and uh, uh, further we can see it in next uh, see next heading before that we have basic research and applied research 
applied research is of uh, solution oriented it aims to find a solution to a problem uh, in business we uh, we have many problems for which uh, we aim to find a solution for that purpose applied research is used uh, on the other hand basic research or fundamental research uh, is aim uh, to find uh, new knowledge explore uh, new aspect of anything uh, it is used uh, for uh, increasing the body of knowledge uh, so that the conclusions can be used in the future for the betterment of uh, the business in business research and for the betterment of society as a whole uh, in a general term when we talk about uh, fundamental research then after that we have after that we uh, we left uh, a topic above that is about managers and research uh, why managers need uh, to know about research mm. It is important for them because uh, uh, in modern uncertain environment uh, they need to be extra vigilant about things so for that they have to do research to conclude things so that they can uh, use it use it when the time arises or when they encounter any problems they can uh, execute scientific uh, research methodologies to find a solution to a problem uh, in this book uh, the the writer has uh, enlisted some of the uh, key considerations while uh, talking about why research is important for uh, a manager so uh, the important uh, the important part of that uh, enlisted points are uh, research gave uh, managers a vision that helps them to make an informed decision and uh, to deal uncertain uh, situations in a better way also they are able to uh, discriminate between good and the bad research and uh, uh, they can hire effective researcher and consultant uh, for their desired task. Uh, then, in this book, uh, uh, the author writes the manager and the consultant uh, researcher relationship. And uh, in this uh, book, he explains two type of research uh, consultant researchers, uh, that is internal and external. He explains uh, pros and cons of both of them and uh, uh, in last he concludes that uh, based on their uh, benefits and weaknesses uh, managers have to choose between one of them. So there is no technicality involved in it, students can go through it by their self to find uh, the key points that help them in their papers uh, then in the last we have ethics and business research and uh, uh, researcher uh, should be of good faith pay attention to what the result indicate uh, surrender to the ego uh, they have to uh, put aside their self interest uh, and they have to be uh, vigilant about their ethical practices as uh, their research should be unbiased, uh, non-egoistic and uh, uh, also should be pure from any uh, self-grudges, negativity and biasness. Uh, 
There are business journals such as the Journal of Business Ethics and the Business Ethics Quarterly that are mainly devoted to the issue of ethics in business. So this is uh, the chapter one. In this chapter, we will learn uh, business research, uh, applied and basic research. Uh, we then uh, see the relationship between manager and research. Why research is important for uh, managers. Uh, we have uh, go through the topic of uh, external researcher and internal researcher as this topic is not very technical so we uh, just go through it. A student can uh, manage it by reading it easily. So and in the last uh, section of uh, this chapter we have uh, we have defined ethics uh, and it's important uh, in business aspect thank you